Uh, a remarkable set of statements from CEOs and companies, Apple, Chevron, B of A, IBM yesterday. I wonder how many you've been able to look at and whether or not you think they've been forceful enough. I think they have. I think everyone is is uh, finds this appalling. Uh, it's a it's a disgrace. It's uh, it's unacceptable and un-American. And I think everyone, at least that I've talked to and have seen, I think uh, agree with that. Do you think it goes beyond statements? Do you see changes to investment plans or uh, business decisions that would somehow try to? Uh, ice out those who are supporting the things they are railing against? Well, you know, I just think the, the entire country has to come together. I think the business community is, is uh, more than willing uh, to try to get a more bipartisan uh, relationship uh, between the, the political parties. You know, if there's anything that, that's actually happened here, if you step back, uh, this was almost a statistical dead heat. Uh, the country is 50-50. They want bipartisanship. Uh, I believe that this was not so much uh, a Biden win, but, but rather people uh, uh, decided that they did not want to, uh, to have a Trump in, in, in office. He really lost the election more than the Democrats wanted, in my opinion. They were turned off by his behavior. His, uh, many thought that it was immoral, uh, repugnant, uh, incorrigible. And, and now we can bring this together. And I think the leadership of both parties uh, need to, uh, to, to get together and say, let's, let, let's work this out. Let's be bipartisan um, and, and, and move ahead economically, uh, fix the issues relative to COVID. You know, uh, there's vaccinations out there that that are available that, that aren't being used at the moment. So there's a lot of things that we can do together that would be beneficial to America. And that should be our, uh, our goal. What is good for the American right. people? Uh, you're reminding me of what uh, former Speaker Boehner uh, just tweeted a few moments ago, and that is uh, the party of Lincoln and Reagan is taking a nap. The nap has become a nightmare for our nation. Uh, the GOP must awaken. Uh, the invasion of our capital uh, was a disgrace. It sounds like you think it, once Trump is excised from the party, things can change. That, that's your belief? That is my belief. I, I think he's the cause of this. And the solution is that the party has to take back uh, the, 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 uh, their goals and, and what it really means. And I don't think uh, Trump represented those goals. We also want to bring in Kenneth, Le Kenneth Jacobs, Lazard chairman and CEO. Kenneth, good morning. And we've been talking about the business community's response to yesterday's events. But I wonder, too, what about the ones that we haven't heard from? Some big names in technology like Jeff Bezos, Sundar Pichai, YouTube CEO. Uh, what does it tell you that we haven't heard from them yet? Do they need to respond? Um, we're a country of laws and institutions. Uh, these laws and institutions, they underpin civil society, and they are the pillar of our economy. And um, the events of last night and the events leading up to last night uh, really is a fundamental attack on the rule of law, and it's a fundamental attack on civil society. And I think in ordinary times, business is the, um, is the business of business, but these aren't ordinary times. And I think in this period of time, this period of turmoil, it's really incumbent upon all of us in positions of responsibility to speak out. So yes, I mean, that's, that's my view. Um, I think it probably carries over to a number of others as well. Kenneth, but this, I think, is complicated by the fact, uh, I, I know Dick said that this wasn't so much a Biden win as it was a Trump loss, but he got more votes, more Republican votes this time around then he did the first time, and a significant part of the population believes the unsupported allegations about uh, irregularities in the vote. And so statements from business certainly have value, but my real question is, I don't think this ends on January 2nd. So what is business going to do with the politicians who have supported what Donald Trump has tried to do up to this point and will continue to try uh, to get support from that base? And what is business going to do about civil society in America going forward? 
Well, look, it starts, I've always thought that um, civil society starts with a basic premise that um, all of us have to agree a series of facts. And if we agree a series of facts, then reasonable and well-informed and well-intentioned people can come up with solutions. Our challenge right now is we can't agree facts and we can't agree solutions. So we have to find a point of common dialogue. And when we do that, then there's some hope. I'm hoping that the shifted administrations, perhaps these events, which have shocked all of us, will be the beginning of a, a shift in tone and time, but we'll have to see. I think that's going to be critical going forward. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.